Agriculture is the production of seafood in a controlled environment that can be recirculated, that can be flowed through, it can be pond aquaculture. So it's the controlled growth of seafood, basically. We can broadly say that we are the largest producer of Russian sturgeon or cetera in the United States. But if you look at the numbers, that's really not hard to do because there is not a lot of aquaculture in the United States. And then sturgeon aquaculture is a very rare industry to run into. A sturgeon is a cartilage's fish. And the only bone structures they have are their scutes and armor around them. They look prehistoric because they are. They have been dated back uh, to the Triassic 240 million years ago. That's when dinosaurs were still present on planet Earth. So the species of sturgeon is really old. They can withstand large temperature ranges. The Russian sturgeon can handle up to 26 degrees Celsius and as cold as 5 degrees Celsius. So it's really a tough, hardy fish. In the wild, a sturgeon it can take up to 20 years for them to mature. In a controlled environment for the Russian sturgeon, it's 7 to 10 years until you start seeing the first harvestable eggs. Edible roe, also known as fish eggs, can come from a number of different species, including paddlefish, salmon, carp, even lobster. But only caviar comes from sturgeon, and it's only called caviar once it's been cured with salt. The caviar comes from the ovary of the fish. The ovary is removed from the body cavity of the female, then set on ice. The next step is to screen the eggs, which means we are removing the eggs from the connective tissue of the ovary. We rinse it further to remove any flakes of fat and undesirable eggs, little blood clots from the product. After that, we dry the product and we salt it. 